बड़ा खूबसूरत है जहा वेलकम टू ऑर्थोकैड नेटवर्क रिसर्च सेल ब्रेकिंग द बैरियर्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल फील्ड्स हियर वी हैव डेवलप्ड अ फैसिलिटी वेयर डॉक्टर्स इंजीनियर्स मैन्युफैक्चरर्स वर्क टुगेदर वी फोकस ऑन डेवलपिंग लो कॉस्ट हाई क्वालिटी ऑर्थोपेडिक इम्प्लांट डिवाइसेज फॉर इंडियन पॉपुलेशन हियर एट आई आई टी बॉम्बे इनोवेटिव प्रोडक्ट्स आर डेवलप विद साइंटिफिक रिसर्च एंड हाई एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज वेरियस फैसिलिटीज इन्वॉल्व softwares intense testing machines these medical solutions are developed to serve common people and improving their daily lives we welcome students all over the country who are motivated in this research to raise the quality of medical technology in the country 4 years ago a couple of seniors from aerospace department dreamt of making what was to be iit bombay's first student satellite the largest technical initiative that was taken in iit bombay 60 year history Four years down the line, we have learnt much more than just making a satellite. We have created an entire student satellite lab for future projects. Met the directors of NASA, ESA, ISRO. Gone to conferences at Paris, Cape Town, and have interacted with more than twenty universities, both national and international. While doing this project, we have learnt engineering that was not taught in class. That is beyond what a classroom could cover. Hi, I am working on a hypersonic flow, in which I measure the heat transfer rate to the scramjet engine. For that, we have facility which generates the Mach number of eight for a one millisecond or two only. How the hypersonic field is used in civil society or in space industry? With the last flight of FTS 135 Atlantis, now the space shuttle era is up, is ending. So after that, only hypersonic field is there where air breathing hypersonic air propulsion is available to. carry the man or and payload to the space and bring them back also it is called as from new york to tokyo within 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours of flight all this comes under hypersonic regime only right now we are in the experimental aerodynamics lab we deal with uh, wind tunnel testing and we have several wind tunnels right now just behind me a closed circuit wind tunnel is there these wind tunnels are used to test different scale down models for example aircraft wing model or an automobile model in order to understand the flow physics behind this model over this model then we have water tunnel facility where it can be used to visualize the flow behind such models then we have laser doppler velocimeter for measurement of velocities in the flow field kabhi dhoop le pake aasman humne sunehri kar liya kabhi dhoop le pake aasman humne sunehri kar liya फिर धूप बांध के पाव में हम उड़े हैं ठंड। We are working over a project called flood risk evaluation of Koshi River. Koshi, as we all know, is the source of Bihar, and its 2008 embankment breaching affected millions of people. Our main point of concern is that Koshi, in many places, is flowing above its surrounding floodplain areas, and thereby causing embankment breaching. Here, in this project, we are using high precision real-time kinematic GPS to get high resolution topography profile of the areas in and around Koshi. so what this instrument actually does well it help us to collect radio signals from the satellite to predict altitude of the areas with a high level nearly 4 to 5 cm accuracy so by this way we can predict possible sites of future embankment breaching and which will definitely help us to save our people and minimize the hazards fission rock thermal chronology is a tool to date the thermal age of a rock that is when the rock has come very close to the earth surface from very deeper level of the earth we can reveal the evolution history of a mountain when it has come to a very great height from the very interior of the earth this technique is widely used in research of paleoclimatic conditions the con- technique has a great prospect in petroleum industries to understand the pressure temperature history of the reservoir and thus potentiality of getting petroleum in a sedimentary basin From last one decade, IIT Bombay has been developing mathematical models to simulate the blast furnace phenomena with active support from 
Steel Authority of India, National Metallurgical Lab. A 0D model can be used to benchmark the efficiency of the furnace. A 1D model is being used as a back-end for real-time process simulators. It can also be used for offline studies. A comprehensive 2D model has been developed for the first time in India and can also be used to understand the internal state of the furnace for predicting thermal and chemical reserve zones, cohesive zones, etc. for various operating conditions. The Semiconductor Thin Films and Plasma Processing Laboratory has developed a fully indigenous, state-of-the-art, automatic, hot wire chemical vapor deposition cluster tool specifically meant for the fabrication of solar cells. Our lab has various characterization techniques available such as the stylus profilometer, IV and quantum efficiency measurement. Our lab has achieved 11.8% efficiency in development of heterojunction with intrinsic thin layer solar cells using HWCVD and 8.8% efficiency on amorphous silicon based PIN solar cells again using the HWCVD tool. These are the highest efficiencies achieved using HWCVD anywhere in the world. We are the only lab in the country that is experimentally working on HIT solar cells. Today, cancer in any of its forms is one of the most dangerous diseases that a human being is facing. It has drawn a worldwide attention in terms of diagnosis and treatment. Researchers and scientists at the Department of Metallurgical Engineering and Material Science in collaboration with Biosciences Department on campus, Radio Biosciences and Health Sciences Division at BRC are exclusively engaged in uprooting this disease. These nano-sized iron oxide particles can be used not only in raising heat locally into the tumor but also for magnetic drug targeting. With this novel approach and treatment, we look forward to extend the life of cancer patient to give them a new hope. In this lab, we are working on hydrogen storage materials. We believe that the hydrogen will replace the entire petroleum based energy economy and uh, has to play a major role in the transport sector in the future. But it is very difficult to store a lot of amount of hydrogen required to propel the vehicles on board and therefore we are working on certain materials which can be reversibly store hydrogen in the form of solids and safe storage of the hydrogen on the vehicles. Basically, basically. the aim of the uh, research of the solar cell is to increase the efficiency and to reduce the production cost. And for that we are working on various structures, various metallization techniques and uh, various uh, quantum dot solar cell and porous silicon solar cell. For that we are having various facility like deposition schemes, diffusion schemes, characterization of the solar cell, measure the quantum efficiency of the solar cell. We are having project called National Center for Solar Photovoltaic Research Education under which research lab has to open very soon which will include various deposition schemes. We have uh, developed a tracking mechanism which uh, cleans the module automatically and removes the dust. My project topic is development of heterogeneous catalyst for biodiesel production. Basically, we prepare a catalyst, characterize and optimize a catalyst on batch reactor and then we perform final run on continuous reactor. In IIT, we have very good facility for characterizing a catalyst like XRD, TEMs, SEM. Where there is a energy crisis, biodiesel is a very good alternative fuel for society. <laughs> फिर धूप बांध के पाव में हम उड़े हैं ठंडी हवाओं में कभी वक्त उठा के सरों पे हम और आग लेके परों पे हम कभी वक्त उठा के सरों पे हम और आग लेके परों पे हम कभी छान खाली खला कहीं हम उड़े जहाँ पे हवा नहीं बड़ा खूबसूरत है जहाँ ज़मीन मेरी मेरा आसमां बड़ा खूबसूरत
Thank you.